Hello everyone, Timely Matter here, back with another video. This time it's of the Lotus Evia mock. That's right, this is a mock, not a mod of the original set. Most of what you see here is completely different from the original set. Um, the only thing I kept is actually just the way this section is arranged right here. Um, everything else is quite different. So let's start off with the front then. Um, when you look at the front, you may think that looks kind of familiar. That's because it's really similar to the Ferrari 812 Competizione set, and it's also really similar to the way I did my La Ferrari mock. Um, you can see just the way the sides are arranged. You've got these um, wedge pieces here. But I think the Lotus Avia, uh, in terms of its front, does have kind of a quite sort of um, uh, generic look. It, it looks like a generic supercar, at least in my opinion, from the front. So that's why I use this sort of technique. Like, I think it still looks great. Um, and in fact, the color of this car, the dark green and yellow together, is just so striking that even though this is exactly the same as my LaFerrari mock, um, to me, at a glance, they look like completely different cars. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Now, let's get to the middle then. This is where things get a bit complicated. I wanted to lower this windscreen piece by one plate because that allows me to not only make the car look more sleek, but also to bring this yellow line closer to the edges of the car. That complicated several things. First of all, in the front, right? When we look at the fender pieces that came with the set, these sections here would block the, fen uh, the um, canopy piece from going down further than what it was in the set. And obviously you could place the canopy piece a bit further back instead. So it would have been aligned with this stud instead of this one. But then it, the car would start to look more like a front engine car and it just would look a bit awkward. So instead of using this piece, I went on to Bricklink and I got this piece because this exists in dark green. And you can see there, this the studs in here are one plate lower than the ones on the edge. So this allowed me to bring the canopy piece one plate lower. Bringing it one plate lower meant that this the build around the sides needed to accommodate that. If I kept it the same as the way it was in the original set, this would not be possible because the plates went underneath the canopy. So I had to change up the way this is built right here. Um, it obviously will be a little bit more um, fragile, but it's still pretty decent, you know, like it does flex a little bit, but you know, it doesn't fall apart on its own or, or anything like that. Now, with these pieces here, these curved slopes here, that the way that was done also had to be changed because bringing everything one plate lower meant that there's less space inside the mock. And so um, the Technic pieces that, was, that were used in the original set just wouldn't, wouldn't fit. And what I ended up doing was the same technique that I used for my white car mock and my LaFerrari mock, uh, which is really, really simple. It's to use those stud with bar pieces, connect that to a clip, connect the clip's end to a uh, stud with a hole in it, and that connects to the piece itself. That allows me to edit uh, and fine tune the this piece to exactly where it needs to be. So when you look at the car from the front, nothing protrudes out right from the sides nothing from this side nothing from the top you know everything fits perfectly and not only that look at how that piece fits alongside the green right here and also the other um windscreen piece right here um, that technique is just so 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 useful in getting things to the right angle and right location and so i'm really happy with that section there um, and I'm just going to put this back later. So with the back of the car in the original set, if I just show you right here, you can see the way that was done and how it's two plates above the fender piece using this piece, right? Now, because I brought the front down lower, I wanted this to follow suit. I didn't want this to be that high because that having that much mass on top of the wheel just doesn't look doesn't make it look like a supercar. It looks too thick, you know. Supercar is a lot more sleek, right? So I wanted to bring that down by one plate, and 
on top of the fender piece, that's fine. That's easy. You know, you can just use a plate. But the challenge comes here because um, if I want to have a slope piece connect this and make it smooth and just connect it to the center of the car, right? The way I have it there. But where where would I have connected this piece? Now, I had to exploit the fact that this triangle piece is actually shorter than uh, two, two studs tall um, by half a plate, you can see there. So what I did was I used a bracket piece, right? Connected it to the plate, uh, the slopes that I wanted to fit in there. And I used that new um, snot piece in the middle there, you can see that. Um, to line everything up perfectly so that just fits in there and it fits in really nicely so I think that's one of the more challenging techniques in this car um, it's to find out that sort of like almost like it's a weakness <laughs> if you're finding a boss you got to find the weakness and then exploit it to get what you want <laughs> I don't know that's how I put it at least and so I got this massive intakes there and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I think the only thing that's missing in this car is the fact that like I couldn't get the sides of this to be a lot more angled like in the original car. But I think that's a that's a fine payoff for the fact that everything else in the car I'm really happy with. Including when I look at the back, I brought these uh, spoilers, uh, not spoilers, sorry. Um, what are these called? Diffusers. I brought them inwards closer to the car. So when you look at it from the side, it's a lot more compact compared to the original set as well, where it was just sticking out. Um, and it was quite awkward, I think. So yeah, back is more compact. Uh, canopy is lower by one stud. And the front is just changed up like that. And that is my Lotus Evia mock. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a thing or two. I think this one in particular was quite a fun technique to come up with. And it's very useful, I think, for any future mocks. Um, and I hope you guys look forward to the next one. Catch you guys later.